Hey guys, super quickly, I just want to tell you about a new feature within the Price Buy app. So if you don't have the app already, go and download that. It's super useful. And their new price forecast feature uses an AI to basically look at historical trends with price information and everything else and draw conclusions from them on where the pricing is going to go in the future. So you haven't checked it out already, I suggest you take a look. It's very interesting, can be really useful. All right, let's start the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and we've been talking a lot about AMD CPU news. So today I wanted to talk about some AMD GPU news. So most of you guys only really care about gaming GPUs and we'll get to that in a minute, but it's good to take a look at what's happening on the sort of workstation, the non-gaming line, I guess you might say, uh, to give you an indication of where things might be going with the gaming lineup as well. So AMD Radeon has announced the MI60 so the Instinct MI60. So this is the world's first seven nanometer uh, GPU. 64 compute units, 32 gigabytes of HBM2, one terabyte a second bandwidth, and PCI, uh, PCIe Gen 4 uh, support. So that's a serious GPU. Obviously it'll come with a serious price tag, a serious TDP of 300 watts. And uh, obviously this is not something that most of you guys would be particularly interested in. But uh, it, it does give you, it's a Vega 20 by the way, so this, this does give you an idea of where AMD is heading. What this means for us is that their gaming GPUs are most likely going to be, oh, well they're obviously going to be 7 nanometer, but uh, similar to this in many ways I think. And I think that's going to be really, really good for us going forward. Because uh, I think with the, the new NVIDIA launches, it left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. The, the price is just insane. A lot of us felt like it wasn't enough of an improvement, especially to justify the huge price tags that they're coming with. And a lot of us now have been looking towards AMD to maybe bring out something that uh, is much better value for money and delivers very good performance also. So hopefully that's something that will happen in the future. There's still not really a huge amount of information as far as the uh, gaming lineup will go the seven nanometer gaming lineup, but uh, it is something that I hope we see more of. But one thing we can talk about, one thing that we do have more information about now is the RX 590, as it's going to be called. So this is gonna be coming with 36 compute units for a total of 2,304 stream processors. So this will be uh, on the 12 nanometer process, and it's gonna replace so the 580 and, and I think this is smart from AMD for a few reasons. First is that uh, whatever's left of people buying 1060s, that will sort of go away. <laughs> this is looking like it, it could hit Nvidia quite hard in an area I guess they maybe have been struggling in for a while you might say. So it's looking like this will be probably positioned between, probably more like a 1070 sort of performance, that's what I would say. Maybe just a little bit less than a 1070. And this will probably become like the 1080p King GPU until Nvidia brings something out, which they certainly have something. I think, honestly, Nvidia is probably waiting for AMD to bring out this 590 and then they'll release the 2060. Uh, that's what I think they will be waiting to do. But this is a GPU, I think, a lot of us could get behind. Um, it's really hard to say right now what the performance is going to be like, but it's just been such a long time since AMD released a GPU that sort of anything at this stage, I guess, is exciting, especially if it's coming in at a very good price point, um, which is something that the 580, when it originally came out, was actually quite good, and then through all the mining stuff, it kind of went crazy, but uh, yeah. So is this the AMD Polaris 30 chip? This is from WCCFD. AMD has also hinted that they will be releasing a product every quarter and since Navi is not going to be landing this quarter, this seems to be the perfect pit stop for AMD to take a breather at. The Polaris 30 GPU was originally slated to be a refresh of the Polaris 20, part 
uh, the Polaris 20 part, I should say, which was launched in 2017. AMD Polaris 30 will be based on the 12 nanometer FinFET process. You can expect a 5% performance increase from the process upgrade and slightly higher clock speeds. It's worth keeping in mind that 12 nanometer FinFET is essentially just an enhanced version of the old FinFET process and not an entirely new node in itself. That would be seven nanometer. So you have to keep that in mind. Seven nanometer is gonna be where it's at. This is, as they're saying, this is just a breather. This is just a stopgap. Maybe it can take a few sales away from video in the meantime. Uh, it's obviously going to appeal to a lot of people that have been waiting out for a new sort of mid-range, I guess you might say, a GPU, something for 1080p, 1440p gaming. And this one will be the one that I think will pull a lot of those people over. However... NVIDIA is definitely going to know this is coming. They're going to have something waiting for AMD once this releases. And I think for a lot of us now, it's really the 7 nanometer stuff that we're really looking at. Um, the new game 7 nanometer gaming GPUs. And I think that's where AMD can really hit NVIDIA, especially if they can release something that has like RTX 2080 uh, performance for maybe, you know, one, two... $250 less uh, if that's possible which given that Nvidia pricing I think that's entirely possible um, yeah I, I think that would be very very good for AMD but at this stage it's, it's hard to tell we can only go off what's happening in the non-gaming lineups a little bit and uh, the 7 nanometer is definitely looking very impressive so I think it's going to be very good I, I expect it to be the gaming GPU to be something that's probably going to be running maybe 16 gigabytes of HVM2. Um, it'll be very powerful. I, I don't want to go into too much of the specs, but I, I, I would hopefully imagine they can have something that uh, is more powerful than the 2080 and 2080 Ti. That would be the area I think they could really hit because there's a decent gap between the 2080 and 2080 Ti. There's also a decent gap there in terms of price. And so if you can have a GPU that is more powerful than the 2080 um, but not quite as powerful as the 2080 Ti but it also costs less than the 2080 that would be I think the enthusiast sweet spot you'd, you'd... there's a lot of people that don't necessarily want all the performance of a 2080 um, because it just costs so much but they want something a little bit more than a 2080 and if they could get it cheaper that would be great and I think that's where they could hit really nicely and then of course have something uh, a bit more value for money focus to take on that sits maybe between the 2070 and 2080 although the gap between those is a lot narrower so that's what it's looking like at this stage uh, i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below what do you think is going to be the future for AMD in terms of the gpus uh what are you expecting what do you think the specs will most likely look like maybe you've read articles that i haven't seen I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And now that we know NVIDIA's new lineup, these RTX cards, how do you think the 7 nanometer AMD gaming GPUs are going to compare? We're obviously going to know this quite soon because I imagine these will be coming out maybe Q1, Q2 next year. Certainly not, not after that. It has to be soon. So we will find out soon. But I want to know what you guys think. So let me know. Now, if you haven't subscribed to Tech Showdown already, I suggest you do, because I'll have more great videos coming up for you guys very soon. I thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.